fight for shine. We gotta keep this clay moved up to maximum wetness or else the car's gonna explode. Time to take out the contaminant. Need more training, noob! A noob must rise up and put his skills to the test. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Chemical Guys Detail Garage Dirty Shorts. I'm your host, Jason. And in today's episode, we're gonna do things a little differently than the last Dirty Shorts episode. If you want the long form, you've come to the right place. If you want the short version, just click right up here. We'll get through all of this instruction in just about 30 seconds to a minute. If you caught the last episode, we washed the hood of my car with rinse free. That really works well for people that are in apartments or don't have access to a running water hose. Today, we're gonna go all out. We're gonna use the foam cannon and my favorite Maxi Suds 2 Extreme Grape Rush. This is a deliciously smelling soap that provides tons of lubrication to your vehicle and helps all the dirt and grime just glide off the surface. So to get started, all we gotta do is fill up two buckets with water, which I've already done for us right here. We're using deionized water because deionized water helps prevent water spots when you're drying your car. So that's the reason we use that. I'm gonna grab two dirt traps. Now, the reason we have these dirt traps and what these do is these filter out dirt and abrasive particles from the surface of our car. When we're washing that, we pull the dirt off the car and we place it right into our bucket. And what happens is if you've ever just used one bucket before, you'll see that the bucket ends up after, you know, a couple minutes of washing, it ends up being filthy water inside there. And that's not really what we want to use because if we grab that filthy water and go back to wash the car, we're just taking gross water and rubbing it on our car. And so we don't want to do that. That's why we've got these dirt traps. What these do is they've got a bunch of cyclonic filters here. And when you place these inside of your buckets at a 45 degree angle, it causes a little air bubble at the bottom. So there's a little like pressure seal down there. And when you take your wash mitt and you place it into the bucket and rub it on the trap, all of that dirt goes through the filters and stays at the bottom of the bucket. It can't rise back up into your wash water. So that keeps everything nice and clean. We have two buckets because we want to even further filter our wash water, right? So this one specifically is going to be our rinse bucket where we take the dirty mitt and we put it in here. And then this bucket is gonna be dedicated specifically just for clean soap. So we know that only a fresh clean mitt is ever gonna go in here. This should never get dirty. That way we're always pulling fresh clean soap off of this bucket and putting only that on our car and leaving all the dirt into this bucket to be filtered out at the bottom. So to get started, you can grab your Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. I've already filled this up with deionized water as well. And you can grab your Maxi Suds Extreme Grape Rush. This is a great, mm, smells so good. It reminds me of like kind of a punchy flavor, like a, like Hubba Bubba, like Hubba Bubba Grape Bubble Gum or. So we're gonna grab our Extreme Grape Rush Maxi Suds 2, which is one of my favorite soaps. It's very high sudsing. It uh, lubricates the entire surface of your car, encapsulates all the dirt and grime on there, so it gently rolls off the surface, minimizing scratches. So that's what we're all about here, right, is minimizing scratches, because the whole point of detailing is to basically make your car look immaculate, and scratches are the number one offender to making your car look dull and just not very healthy overall. So. We're gonna grab two ounces of this into our foam cannon. A rule of thumb for this is typically one nice good squeeze on one of these bottles is about an ounce. So we're gonna put about two ounces, one and two in there. And as you can see, the color is pretty cool. Grab the head of our Big Mouth Max Release foam cannon and screw that on there. And this guy is ready to go. Now we wanna mix up the soap because you can see here, there's a little bit more soap on the bottom than there is on the top. So just stir it gently, kind of create a little vortex in there, a little cyclone, you know, because you don't want to shake it violently. If you shake it too hard, you're going to create foam in the bottle, as you can see on the top here. And we don't want to create all the foam in the bottle. We want it to come out the bezel in the front, which is a nice big blow bezel. This thing is adjustable. 
And as you rotate the bezel, you can see it kind of opens and closes. And this is what creates that fanning like motion when you're using the pressure washer. If you're washing a very large vehicle like a truck, um, you can fan it out and cover the entire truck in one pass. Or if you want some really concentrated sud action, you can lower it down and shoot just a stream of, of high density soap. The next thing you wanna do is also add about an ounce into your soapy bucket just to give that extra lubrication. And we're off to the races. What we're gonna do first is grab our pressure washer and rinse down the car. You wanna give it a pre-rinse just to knock off any loose dirt, grime, or debris. Then we're gonna attach our big mouth max release foam cannon and get to foaming. After that point, we're gonna use our chenille microfiber wash mitt, grab some soap out of our soapy bucket, wash the car from top to bottom in linear motions. The reason we do that is because, can anybody guess? Three, two, one, comment down below. Let me know why we go in the flow. Linear motions, here we go. Where was I? Oh yeah, linear motions. So, <laughs> motions like the oceans. What? I think I just lost my mind. What's the reason why? <laughs> because we want to minimize scratches and swirls. And if you happen to catch some debris or some crazy stuff inside of this mitt from your car and you start swirling it around your paint, you're just going to create swirl marks. Uh, you're going to scratch that right into the clear coat. So just in case, this should always be clean and clear, but just in case, if you go in a linear motion, you're guaranteed to only cause issues in a straight line, which is way easier to polish out. So with that being said, I'm gonna put this down here, grab our pressure washer, set this bad boy to stun, and let's get spraying. Now, I don't know if you can tell from my car, but it's got a ton of beading action going on here. And that's probably because we've coated it a number of times with some protective chemical guys goodies like waxes, hydro speed, um, hydro slick. It's got pretty much everything on here. You can see how crazy the water beading is on my car. That's from just layer and layer and layer of all kinds of different coatings that we put on here over the years. And uh, this is how you protect your paint. Essentially, if I were to drive right now, this would all just roll off my car, which that step you can watch in one of the future episodes of this series. We'll get there, we'll get there. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon, and we're gonna turn this all the way to the foam power. Oh, and we're gonna get going. Yeah. Awesome guys, that was so much fun. It's always awesome to have a foam party here at Chemical Guys. As you can see, the car is covered in foam and it's already kind of pulling all the dirt off automatically. We don't even have to really do much. You can see it's pulling all of the dirt and debris off of the surface without me even touching the car and pulling it down to the ground. Now, obviously there's gonna be some leftover, so we gotta help it out a bit. That's where we grab our chenille microfiber wash mitt and get going. So first things first, I'm gonna grab our pressure washer torque snubby again pop the uh, little attachment on here and we're going to activate the soap that's already in this bucket by giving it a little bit of pressure look at that tons of suds right here grab our chenille microfiber wash mitt dunk that in here get it nice and lubricated then we're going to grab some fresh fresh suds look at all that and just start from the top of the car and work our way down in a linear motion, straight down. Boom, one pass. Look at that, beautiful. Inspect the wash mitt. It still looks pretty clean to me, so we can go give it another pass. And you can continue this process as long as you feel like the mitt is still fairly clean. About two to three passes though, you probably wanna to flip to the other side, which you know is clean. 
continue the rest of this, right? And then you're gonna take this and go to your buckets. First thing you wanna do is rinse out your wash mitt outside of the bucket. Get all that dirt and grime out of here first. The second thing you're gonna do is stick this into your clear rinse bucket and rub this on the dirt trap at the bottom of the bucket. This is going to release all of that dirt and grime that was on your car from the noodles of the wash mitt and press it down below the dirt trap. Once you look and you see that your mitt is pretty clean, you can take it out again, rinse one more time. And now inspect, make sure that you have nothing inside the noodles, we're looking good. And then you just grab more soap and continue the process. Yeah. Right, guys and it's that easy the next step is to just grab your pressure washer wand or snubby and rinse down the remaining soap and we're basically done we're on to the drying process so let me rinse this down and i'll come back and show you a little bonus on how to dry this thing even faster All right, and that's basically it, guys. Now, right away, you can just grab your microfiber towel. In this case, we've got the Woolly Mammoth. It's a giant towel. This thing holds up to about a gallon of water, believe it or not. It's huge. This will cut your drying time in half if you use this towel. Uh, now, my car is coated, as we kind of saw, right, with all the beading going on here. So it's going to be very easy to dry with th just this towel. But a little bonus for you guys, if you don't have any coatings on your car uh, or you find that your towel's dragging or leaving streaks or something like that, grab yourself some afterwash. It means that your car is probably not that coated. So this is gonna help lubricate and create those little beads with the water just from spraying it on there. All you gotta do is shake up the product a little bit to mix it up, make sure it's good to go. And then you just spray a little bit onto the surface. And as you can see, even on my coated car, as I spray, it creates these micro beads and basically wraps everything in these tiny, tiny beads and the water you'll see just starts rolling off the hood. So you just spray the area that you want to basically rinse or dry rather, grab your microfiber towel. You can see the beads are just coming right off already. Place that towel gently onto the surface of your car. Now you can either do the pat method, which I like, or you can just start pulling it down off of your car but I like to pat everything dry a little bit first, make sure that I'm touching this as little as possible, and then just grab the corners of the towel and pull down off the car. And you'll see, it just dries it almost instantly. Otherwise, you can wrap this into, I don't know, about quarters or something, and just go ahead and take care of each of these pieces of your car. Basically, you just pull your towel across the surface, nice and gentle. The Woolly Mammoth has silk edging all around the banding here, so even the edging of the towel is soft enough for your beautiful ride. Little pro tip, when you get close to the edge or the ground here, you don't want to touch this to the ground. I've made that mistake as a noob many times. So the best tip that I could give you is to use one hand to hold the top portion of the towel, use a second hand to grab the bottom part, and then you know that you're only in control of this bottom part. And that will keep everything off the ground and still enable you to dry the entire panel in one swoop, just like that. All right, guys, and that's pretty much the end of that. At this point, you could go to the next step, which if you wanted to polish your car, you would clay bar first. 
we can tackle that in the next video if you'd like. If you want to see that, comment down below that you want to see that. Uh, also comment down below your favorite soap to use on your maintenance washes. As you can see, it wasn't that dirty. And that's simply because of all the coatings that we put on here. It actually helps out for future washes because your car actually gets less dirty than it normally would if you didn't have those coatings. So it just makes things a lot easier to manage. But you can still see a huge difference on the paint. This baby is shining now like it's supposed to. Uh, the color on this car is a little weird. It sometimes changes from orange to red. Um, but either way, Maxi Suds brings out the depth and the shine and the gloss of this paint like no other. So it's looking really nice. Uh, at this point, you could choose to dress the tires. We can hit that in another episode as well. Hit the trim. We'll take care of all that stuff in a future episode of Dirty Short. You stuck it all the way through and I'm proud of you. But if you want the fast version, make sure to hit that link again to the Dirty Shorts version. And otherwise, we'll see you next time here at Chemical Guys Detail Garage.